So you might be dealing with some legal situation and you're getting some communication uh, about that situation. So something coming in. And that's going to answer a lot of questions for you. Um, there's a lot of inspiration coming in. But whatever this communication is, is going to bring in a lot of solutions to your problems that you have. So in the past, you've had uh, um, some good fortune coming in. Maybe you've had some financial windfall or something went your way. Uh, you were dealing also with a very uh, with a fair-haired or grey-haired woman. So somebody bringing in some luck. And this might have involved this fair-haired or grey-haired woman. Um, you've got, going into the future, you've got happiness. So you have got somebody that's very supportive, supportive of you. A very good, loyal friend coming in for you to help you and assist you and give you that advice that you need to get forward. And uh, you've got the troubleshooter card, so you may need to get some advice. Uh, it might be from an expert. You might need to consult the tarot or some kind of fortune teller. Yeah, this person's got fortune telling cards in their hands. But also you could be consulting some kind of, for, um, some kind of expert in the field, um, somebody who gives you that advice that you need uh, to get through. You might be getting that advice from this good friend that you have. They give you some kind of psychic advice in order for you to move forward. You can see both these uh, of them are looking to the future or, and you know there are clouds over here, but it's next to each other, these two cards. So it could be that this person that comes in, this very loyal friend is going to give you some sort of psychic advice in order for you to move forward. So that's the um, energies for that week. Okay, so I have shuffled these cards. I'm just going to cut them. Okay, so the main um, energy is the King of Swords. You might be dealing with a, of a legal situation at this particular moment. You might be seeking some legal advice, uh, maybe a lawyer, but something definitely involved with legalities. Um, you could be dealing with the court system. It could be the police. It could be something, but something to do with legalities uh, um, is going on around you. It might be that things are not looking up because you've got these autumn leaves falling over here. So it might be, uh, you know, things seem to be going a bit uh, haywire right now, uh, not going your way. Um, you are a bit worried about it, it seems, um, but you are dealing with something legal at the moment. So you've got the judgment card as well, and um, you've got uh, um, the hierophant. So you are dealing with some kind of legal situation over here. The Hierophant in some decks deals with um, uh, legalities, with ju the justice system. And they, this person is, because it's information that is being given to you that has got, uh, you know, to do, do with big institutions like, um, like the, you know, the, the um, judge, the, the legal system, uh, the medical system, that kind of big institutions. You've got the um, hourglass of here, so there's uh, a deadline, some kind of deadline that is coming up, and you can see there's a, a lot of information that is being read through, almost, uh, you know, like they're reading out the law. So there's some sort of legal situation that you are dealing with, uh, and it's events that are beyond your control. You can see there's a really big dragon over here, so something that you're pretty worried about, uh, and, you know, it's something that, uh, you know, you can see you're very worried. You've got the judgment card over here. So this kind of situation that you're dealing with, uh, you know, it, it's it's causing a lot of stress in your life or distress. Uh, you know, it can go either way um, because, uh, and, and it's made you pretty worried uh, because it's such a big thing. You can see this person is very distraught about the whole thing. Uh, and you can see this angel standing over there uh, sounding out this horn. So it looks like with these three cards, there is some legal situation that you're um, dealing with. You might have to appear in court or you might be um, you know, dealing with a judge or you know, seeking legal advice or getting legal support from a lawyer and then dealing with a judge uh, kind of situation. And you're very, very worried about it because you, this is a very, very big thing. It's going to change your path in life. It's something that, um, you know, it's going to bring um, a big transformation in your life. And it seems like it's it's very overwhelming for you at this particular moment. 
So you've got the five of wands. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of disagreements and arguments going on around you in the past year. Uh, a lot of battles, fights, petty arguments, people doing what they want and not really including you um, in the scenario. And, you know, things have been going on. Maybe nasty things have been said, a lot of competition. So it's a very uh, upsetting situation that you've been involved in in the last year. And you've got the three of swords. It's caused a lot of heartbreak. So, uh, you know, there might have been a lot of betrayal as well with this. Um, and, you know, things were said. There were lots of lies spoken. So it looks like, um, you know, it's caused you to be, it's isolated you as well from the crowd. So uh, made you, uh, you know, take, you've been on by, your, by yourself. Uh, so whatever fighting has gone on, uh, they have excluded you completely with this Three of Swords and it's caused a lot of heartbreak, uh, you know, and you haven't been able to um, communicate your ideas across as well. You're surrounded by the sea, so you're very, very much alone and you're very emotional about the whole situation as well. So that's been happening in the last three months. So the Six of Chalices, you know, you've been thinking a lot about the past as well. So lots of memories coming in over here about what happened. Uh, you know, maybe there's information that has not been um, uh, made clear to you. This person, this angel's got, they're blind really, uh, so they can't really see. But you've been thinking a lot about the past and the things that you've abandoned. Maybe projects that you were supposed to have done that you've abandoned. Maybe you're now focusing on one particular thing that you want to do and you want to get it done. You know, you whatever this legal situation is, you maybe you say that once that is, gets resolved, you'll be able to sort out something that you want to do uh, that you haven't completed in the past. So going into the future... You've got the Queen of Pentacles. It seems like uh, whatever happens uh, within this particular um, scenario, you're going into the energy of the um, Queen of Pentacles, which shows financial independence. And it shows that, um, you know, it looks like you will be victorious in this particular situation. So whatever is going on over here, it seems like you come out on the top because, uh, you know, the Queen of Pentacles, she's very, very um, independent. She's got her finances in sorted out. You know, she's got all the abundance coming to her. So it looks like whatever the legal battle you're fighting, you will come out winning. Uh, you will come out on top. Um, so it looks like you may not need to worry about it. You will be able to hang on to your possessions and you will be on top and in charge. You'll be victorious. Now, whatever is going on with you has just completely... Um, disrupted your whole foundations in life you can see this tower has actually been physically lifted from the ground you can see the foundation stones are all falling apart over here maybe you've also been um you know isolated it seems like you know almost like you're locked away from the rest of the world and all your foundations have been lifted up and there's just monsters around you so a lot of you know, people not supporting you. Um, your whole life seems to be a bit upside down. It seems to be up in the air, really. Uh, you know, things are just uh, not at all stable. Everything that you you thought was um, security is now gone. That security that you thought you had is gone. And, you know, you're left there very, very much alone, having to deal with it all by yourself. And, you know, it's, there's a sense of great loss that comes with this particular tower because you've seemed like you've been taken physically out of where you were stable and moved off to somewhere else. And they, it seems like there are forces that, uh, you know, you could not control. These were things that were done and you couldn't, you didn't have any control of the situation. So you've got the Six of Swords coming over here and it looks like you will be moving away from that awful, nasty situation that you've been involved in. So whatever this crisis is that has involved the legal system or the justice system, you will move away from it. Uh, this is the Six of Swords and this is definitely crossing away from, moving away from that uh, problem. This is a big sword here, so you will be moving away from it. it, it is, this particular uh, uh, angel, this is an angel rather, um, so you're being guided as well, so you're being helped along this way, along this journey, but you will move away from this problem, so you will be able to recover from it. There was a lot of deception uh, that was involved within this case. There was a lot of lies spoken and things were done behind your back and you had no control over the situation. And there was a lot of theft in the sense that you had a lot of loss. Uh, you know, maybe you lost all your possessions, maybe you lost money, um, maybe you lost your reputation, but there was a great loss uh, that happened in it. And if it was the tower card and that is how you're feeling, then there was great loss and all your stability was gone. And this was done, um, you know, by 
forces that you had no power over. So the tower is a major arcana card. It is something that we cannot control. And it's usually caused by people coming in and doing things to us. And this was done to you uh, by someone who was very deceptive and they spoke a lot of lies and they were they had no good intent. They were out to get you, in other words. So you've got the star card and um, the knave of wands and the six of wands. So the star card shows, you know, you must have hope and faith and you must pray and ask for guidance because that is coming to you. All these stars are falling on this person. They're looking, uh, you know, they're looking out into the future. So you need to have that hope. Don't give up that hope. Don't give up that faith. And you need to pray about it because you are being divinely guided with the star card inspiration is coming you being shown the direction now you've got the knave of wands over here uh you know a new intent is coming in a uh, help is coming in for you to help you um get over the situation um there might be a communication a letter coming in uh that shows you how to actually solve this problem that you're dealing with right now so there might be some information that is coming to you that teaches you or shows you how to get over this problem and how to overcome it and how to uh, make things happen and make things go your way so watch out for that help and you will be victorious. This is the Six of Wands. You will have to move completely away from that situation. You can see this person's taking all their things and moving away, but uh, you will be victorious in it. Um, you know, um, you will... Um, You'll be recognized, you know, a lot of people will have a lot of um, admiration for you. So you, whatever this uh, scenario is that you're going through now, whatever the crisis is that you're going through now, you will overcome it and you will overcome it victoriously. And there is help coming in for you that will help you sort this problem out. So something, some information, maybe it's some person, something coming in with this Knave of Wands. Um, you can see there's a letter or some kind of information coming in for you that helps you deal with this case, overcome this uh, pro problem. You can see this person's manifesting or levitating so you will be able to rise above the situation and overcome it and you will be victorious as as far as it goes with the six of wands so there, it is a positive ending even though you're going through a terrible difficult crisis right now and everything seems to be falling apart there is the six of wands which is showing that you will be victorious and with the um uh, Queen of Pentacles, you might get some money along the way. Um, so you might get a payoff from this um, particular legal situation that comes out. So something is coming in for you and it will make you financially independent. But you will be victorious. Um, despite the fact that this whoever did this to you has been very, very nasty about the whole thing uh, and you've been very victimized, uh, it looks like you will be um, successful. You will be a winner. So you've got the three of air over here, which says, uh, great sadness, the time to heal, a uh, need to forgive yourself or others. So with the three of air, it is talking about heartbreak, uh, but you do need to um, maybe um, forgive yourself and forgive others, forget, you know, just walk away from it. This was a, a heartbreak situation uh, and you do need time to heal from it as well. You've got the three of um, swords over here which is the same as the three of air which is talking about great heartbreak that came so you've got the five of water which says things not turning out um, as you have hoped not seeing the positive in the situation crying over spilled milk so the five of water is like the five of cups and you are very upset and despondent by the betrayal that happened um, you know and you are, you can't get over it it's shocked you uh, but uh, you you're gonna have to see beyond that uh, you're going to have to say that, uh, you know, whatever happened may have happened for a good reason. Uh, you've got to look for that positive in it um, and look at the things that have been left behind for you. So you've got to focus on the things that remain rather, the things, rather than the things that you have lost. So stop seeing the lost cups or the, the things that the betrayal. Start seeing how you can take it and turn it into a positive and move forward. And the last card is the Eight of Air, uh, the illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. So don't let it tie you up in knots. Don't make, make it let it uh, get you down. Don't let it frustrate you uh, and don't let it depress you. Whatever the situation is, these are really, you know, three cards of, uh, of you being so upset and so miserable about what happened that, you know, you, you're frustrated and tied up. You've been isolated away from everybody else, you know, almost kicked out of the herd you can see this particular unicorn is being thrown out from the rest of the crowd of unicorns so you need to focus on what is left what you've got left in your hand not what you've got uh, broken on the floor 
and you need to have that confidence and move uh, and try and heal from that situation and know that whatever happens you are going to be a winner you've got the six of uh, wands over here and you will be victorious and whatever you you intention you plant now will start growing and produce fruit so you maybe you needed to go through this life lesson in order that you can um, become independent and you can manifest your bright future Maybe they were taking advantage of you. They certainly uh, uh, were really nasty about the whole situation. But maybe you needed to get out of that situation. It was a situation that was not serving you. And although it was such a big drama that's happened now, you will become victorious and you will go towards the path for your better good or your best, um, the highest good that you can possibly go for. Such a word is better good. <laughs> okay, but you, you go for your highest good. It is something that you need, that, you know, you, you will show your independence and a lot of people would admire you for it.